So in the northwest province, the ANC Provincial Executive Committee there says Premier Supra Mahomapelo will take a leave of absence. MEC Wendy Nelson has been appointed to act in his post. There's been growing confusion about the Premier's political future after he took an unexpected U-turn and changed his mind about resigning from office pending, he said, consultation with the ANC's PEC. A dramatic turn of events as scores of Supra Mahuma Pelo supporters stormed the venue of the PEC meeting, demanding that the Premier be allowed to continue his term. In efforts to defuse the situation, the Premier was forced to meet the crowd to calm them. That when they see us keeping quiet, when they see us being disciplined, yes. it doesn't mean that we agree with things that are going on. It is just that we want stability. Now, I will talk more, comrades, if you can allow the PC to happen. While his supporters' tempers cooled, the meeting continued. The group remained firm in their support of him. We are not happy about the processes that have been unfolding where branches were not consulted, but also people who lose conferences. They go outside of the structures of the ANC. So we still believe that the administration and under the Mahuma Pelo and his collective, they must continue until the end of the term as they were elected. Before long, the Premier's consultation with the PEC concluded and it seemed a decision had been taken. Comrade Supra Mahuma Pelo must take a leave and allow the ministerial tax team to proceed with the processes. In the meantime, must appoint an acting Premier. Others in the ENC in the province have called for the disbandment of the PEC. The PEC should be disbanded, a PTT to be established, investigations to be conducted by law enforcement entities. Now, he understood that there's a call for him to resign. He knows that it's a decision of the NWC and the president has communicated that to him. But in principle, he was saying, I will not go without a fight. I will not go without causing the mayhem that is going to follow. You will still feel me even if I were to resign. It remains unclear how long the premier will be on leave for, but it seems his wrath will be felt in his absence. He has called for legal action against the Revolutionary Council and against those who spearheaded violent protests to unseat him. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Mahikeng.